I'm Dave Hayden on the Hayden Ranch, south of Baker, 30 miles. My grandfather homesteaded out here. There was a lot of bare ground, not near as much grass. Some stuff was washing, most of it was blowing. So in about 88, I started changing things and planting more grass back and then went to holistic management and about 15 years ago to put the biology back in the soil that we were taking out. We knew we had to do a lot of things different because it had been farmed and hayed for so many years it was there was really nothing left you know except blowing dirt and stuff. This is called a high stock density management. We started doing it yesterday. This the first day. Today's the second. There's 290 yearlings in here and we're moving them every hour 12 times a day. Each one of these strips are an acre. We're going to do it for 10 days on this pasture. Then we'll separate some of them and uh, we'll keep doing uh, like a three-day rotation and put the bulls in and take out, separate the ones we're going to breed. We have a north place and a south place. We will graze in the winter, unlike the north, and then we stay there for the summer. And the south place will have 12 to 18 months rest. And then the next year we flip it and then the north gets 12 to 18 months rest. That high stock density and the long rest afterwards is what makes things work. I started working with Hayden's about 20 years ago with some grazing systems, trying to find something that worked for them that would help improve their grass production and also the bottom line as far as uh, pounds on their animals. Five, ten years ago, Dave went down to a holistic management course in Wyoming and came back and his head was exploding with ideas. The first thing we run into is a water problem and that's what always seems to happen. So he's built some portable tanks with large storage on the top and he has the tanks on the bottom and he can hook it up to hydrants connected by hoses. He has a large aperture which is what you need with large herds. And then this poly wire. I'm tired of hand cranking so I built a wire winder. It holds, it'll hold four miles of wire. Just roll it up with the drill and then whenever we get to the end I just cut it. We just have a main wire going one way and then we have little strips, 12 of them for a day, and then we'll just keep doing it across the pasture. So now we're going to be really flexible and move wherever we want to. First and foremost, we want to build the soil structure. And we anticipate building that soil structure by getting more nutrients on the ground. We'll get more nutrients on the ground by leaving more grass on the soil surface, also allowing the water that does come down to infiltrate better and stay there, it's not going to evaporate. And that's going to create a little microbiome that is going to grow the biology under there because the biology needs the same things we need, water, air, and a shelter. We have some pretty good organic matter mm -hmm. in that top layer. Right there, that's what we're after, yeah. is that nice blocky aggregated structure. Organic matter on top, roots coming through it. It smells good. Instead of tearing it up or spraying it out and trying to renovate these pastures with equipment and fuel and a lot of expense, we thought it would be a nice way to do it if we could use animals. We're finding that animals add so much back into it. We can benefit the soil and benefit the resources so much more by utilizing the animals than we could machinery. So we put together a tip, um, which is a targeted implementation plan. And that came about from Montana's new Montana Focus Conservation. It takes, as you can see, a pretty big commitment from the producers. Hayden's have done a great job. Dave's always been really good about having other kids around to teach things to. It doesn't matter if they're young or old. He talks about what we're doing here or just different things that he's seen or that he's heard. Right now I'm just working kind of as a hired hand. I'm learning a lot about the soil conservation and soil health. From what I grew up with doing compared to what, you know, the other side of the fence was doing, it was a lot different. You can hear about it and read it in the books, but it's nothing like being out here and actually seeing how everything works. Hopefully someday I'm able to own my own place and kind of do the same kind of stuff that they are doing. Hayden's are one of the producers I send other people to because they get the whole system. They've always been interested in moving forward and trying to do better. They've hosted numerous tours and kitchen meetings where we've had different people come talk about education and invited the neighbors. It was a really fun ranch to work with. Noticing a lot more birds, a lot more grouse, more pheasants. 
We have more deer than we've ever, ever had. We don't even worry about wildlife anymore. It used to drive them crazy when they were up on top of the hay piles and stuff. And now it doesn't matter. It's just more compaction and more stuff on the ground. Watching the cows move is really, really cool sometimes. They have them trained with the electric fences so well that you can go out there with a certain side by side and they know it is moving day. You can just open up the fence and they'll be right behind you and away they go into the next one. Haydens have done a great job in implementing the five principles of soil health. We don't often think of minimizing disturbance on grazing lands. We think of it on cropland. On grazing land, it's pretty important to allow that recovery after the cows are off and decrease the amount of compaction. They're starting to see earthworms in their grazing lands, which isn't normal for eastern Montana. So I think what that tells us is they've built this biology that's ready for the next step, and we can, we can even move that forward more. It's going to be interesting what it's going to be like in three years. I think there's going to be some great improvement.